Burrito Bison. This is one of the most popular flash games ever made. With a lot of luck and a lot of skill, this game can be beaten in mere minutes or even seconds. So today I will be attempting my very first speed run of the game. I haven't played in a long time, but I'm still sure I stand a chance at getting the world record. But what is a great game without a compelling story? And Burrito Bison has just that. One day as we're shopping in the grocery store for some kind of jelly or maybe candles, a possessed Candyland bag goes crazy and manages to pull us inside. It's then revealed that we were stolen away and forced to compete in a last one standing arena game as hundreds of gummy bear creatures cheer on hoping for my defeat. But I won't let that happen. As the run begins, the game quickly gets us started. But if you don't know anything about Burrito Bison, it's a simple game to understand. Launch Burrito Bison through the air as far as you possibly can. You have the ability to use a Rocket Slam power-up for an extra bounce, and as you do so, make sure to take out as many Gummy Bear lives in the process for extra speed and extra cash. As we get more and more money, we can buy more and more items. These items allow us to do things like lose less speed when we hit the ground, get some extra Rocket Slams, or even put special Gummy Bears on the field. But I'll show you more on that soon. I spent my first couple runs just trying to build up my cash as fast as I can. I'm not able to make it very far yet, but eventually I get the chance to buy my first set of elastic cables, which gives me more powerful launches. Timing the bar just right sends me out with as much speed as I can muster before landing on my first special gummy, the money gummy, which is pretty self-explanatory. The biggest thing to know about Burrito Bison is that, just like life, we are going to fail a lot before we get anywhere, and we might even get arrested. But not before I take the chance to buy a second edition to my rocket slams. On top of trying to escape this gummy hellhole, we have a sub-objective of defeating this jawbreaker guy. The only way to deal damage to him is to land the wheel directly in the middle at its most powerful spot. Fortunately for me, my timing is impeccable and I will never fail this, ever. See? More gummies crushed is more money for me, which means I'll get to purchase some bouncy boots. Things are really starting to pick up for me a bit now with these items. Never mind, I've had a run in with the law. See, like I briefly mentioned before, we have a chance at getting arrested. If you land on a cop, it will immediately end your run right then and there. Unless if you're going really fast, then it will instead slow you down by a lot. We'll need to keep watch for any and all policemen from here on out, but I'm hoping this slippery lotion should help me wiggle out of their grasp. A few more runs and timing the bar just right later, and it's time to purchase our first special gummy from the shop. There are basic ones that already spawn on our path, like the money and balloon gummies, but these ones had the chance of giving us significant boosts in speed. We're starting with the bubble gummies. Immediately after buying them, I find one out in the wild during a run. The bubble gives us the chance to mash the mouse button as fast as possible and send us straight up into the air. These are very useful early game to build up speed quickly, but we also have the disadvantage of not knowing where we're gonna land before it's too late. However, I am just barely able to bounce my withering body over to a massive roadblock that's stands in our way the first door each area will need to make sure we're going ultra fast by the time we reach these doors otherwise we won't be able to break through how many areas are there I guess we'll find out. But for now, it's back to the shop so we can buy more items. Why go to the gym and put in effort like a virgin when I can spend $700 on large muscles instead? Another excellently timed launch sends us out onto this run where we encounter a pogo gummy. I forgot to mention that I had bought pogo gummy. All we gotta do is time the jumps just as we hit the ground or on an enemy and we'll be on our way. That pogo was just what we needed to build up enough speed to smash through this massive door. Uh, hopefully there aren't too many more of these. I'm not able to make it much farther in this desert town though all these green gummy bears seem a bit smarter than the blue ones also cut me some slack i just smashed my head through a door with another rocket slam under our belt and a burning burrito passion in my heart i take to the door and not quite. But a few runs later and I've saved up enough blood money to afford some glider gummies, adding in some extra help on the field. With more expert timing, I've now dealt enough damage to break Jawbreaker's jaw. After avoiding a bunch of cops, I finally get another chance to break through the door and I pull it off. But then I'm able to do nothing but simply watch as I land right on top of a policeman. I kind of messed up the timing, but you know what? Let me try again. 
Now that's what I'm talking about. I guess that's the kind of ego boost we needed because I managed to land right on top of a glider gummy. Time to release correctly at the apex and you'll manage to gain lots of height, even getting tangled up in the clouds. This once again gives me enough speed to break through before falling just short. I spent some time trying to build up my money as much as I can, hoping to increase my stock of items and special gummies. Finally, 15 minutes into the run, AKA world record pace, and I've got a decent start here in the second area before you guessed it. If I'm gonna make it any farther, I need a powerfully timed start to this run. And nope, 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 nah, -uh, you're so bad. Oh, thank God. This is some sp speed. More flattened gummy lives later, and I've earned enough to buy some chili pepper gummies. These little guys give the ability to smash us into the ground at a rapid pace, both increasing our speed and taking out enemies as quickly as we can, even cops. Unless if it runs out before you land on one. This jawbreaker guy has got to be seconds away from going down. I mean, I've nailed these. Reaching the 20 minute mark, and I'm still having problems with the first door. At least I've got like $4,000. Money does solve all problems. Up until now, every run in the second area I have attempted has been stopped by the grubby hands of the law. But eventually, something started to crack. That meaning the game actually started breaking, I don't know what's going on. But I finally did see some progress after spending thousands and thousands of dollars on upgrades and using both luck as well as skill to avoid touching the floor or hitting any dangerous cops, I fell just, just barely short of reaching the very end of area two. Still, that hard work paid off because it gave me so much money that I was able to afford a $10,000 rocket gummy. The very next run, what do you know what? I slam directly onto a rocket gummy, gaining its ability. This rocket allows me to fly all the way to the top without any problems. And if I go past the cloud limit, it'll send me right back down with my speed increased and some of my slam gauges refilled. This guy was going to be integral to our mission, but even with his help, I needed just a bit more power. To prepare, I squash many, many more gummies on my next few runs and purchase some even larger muscles. As this attempt starts, I land on a rocket and use it to propel myself up in the sky and a few strategically placed balloons to help me stay up there. As I burst through the first door, I find a chili pepper upgrade so as to keep my speed and earn some cash. I was already blazing through this attempt when I managed to snag a pogo gummy. And after even more helpful balloons, I smashed through that second door. I last as long as I can here, but crashing through a door causes you to lose a lot of speed. So yeah, you know what happened. And so began my training to build my burrito bison to be as beefy as they could possibly be. More items to be purchased, more jawbreakers to damage, and so, so many more gummies to flatten. It's only a few attempts later that I make it back to the third area. The first one was the arena, the second one was some kind of town, and the third one seems to be the mother nature of Candyland at work. Either way, we've made tons of progress on our burrito -y journey. That run alone net me 10 thousand dollars and nowadays it takes me less than 15 seconds to break down the first door arriving back at the third area with much more speed than before if all goes well this could be the end of it with my seemingly endless amount of burrito bucks i opt for some stronger elastic cables and another rocket slam which helps me get the outlaw achievement i think this means i've crushed a hundred different police gummies I see why they keep arresting me. You'd think 42 minutes into the run, I'd have this timing down by now. You would definitely think that. If you couldn't tell, not only is the third area much wow. longer than the previous two, but it also has way, way more cops around. But thank goodness I've got more slippery lotion. 48 minutes in and I am on the run of my life. The chili pepper gummy feels like it was added as a way to let out some pent up aggression. I started to get a really good attempt going, but it was looking dicey. I was getting slowed down by policemen and landing straight onto the floor until I was just barely able to snag a rocket gummy right above me. This gave me a well needed speed boost and a refuel on my slams. Afterwards, I soared through the skies, getting crazy lucky with glider gummies, balloons, and even a pepper. Unfortunately, I ended up landing on a gummy cop, which slowed me down severely just before reaching the third door. Still, I finally made a small crumb of progress. But if I was going to beat this game soon, I had to kick it into gear. If I do this right, I can do it in under an hour. I began playing like never before, grinding out buckets and buckets of burrito cash to make my stats as high as they could be. I managed to hit just about every special gummy that I could 
and apparently every policeman too. Until it came time for my final attempt. The clock breathing down my neck with only a minute and a half to spare. If it was at all possible to get this done before I became a true one hour embarrassment, it was now. And so started the final run. Immediately off the jump, I just barely missed a rocket gummy, which felt like a horrible omen. But fortunately, I was able to grab a glider shortly after. We broke through the first door with ease, rode out a rocket and another glider just to break down the second door. But it wasn't these two areas I was worried about. It's this one that was going to be close. My worries went down with yet another rocket waiting for me out of the gate. But then things started to get quiet. I was managing to stay afloat, but I kept narrowly missing special gummies left and right, and my speed was starting to slow down too. Cops were clawing at my toes, and my failure seemed almost inevitable until a rocket gummy made its final appearance granting me the speed and power i needed to reach the last door and annihilate my way through with thousands of fallen gummies under my belt dozens of upgrades bought and lord knows how many run-ins with the law we have finally made it out of candyland ending my run at 59 53. i don't know why this timer says an hour and 18 minutes but it doesn't really matter because either way this time is terrible i'm not even going to look it up on the leaderboards instead i'm announcing a new category called shintos percent and boy, that's neat, I've got the world record. <laughs>